Hello, I am a peer advisor for Gateway Technical College, and today I'm going to show you how to register for a course as a course taker. A course taker is any student who wishes to take a course at Gateway that is not admitted into an academic program. To get started, you first must have a Gateway student ID and password in order to be able to register for a course. If you do not have a Gateway ID and password, you will want to create a Gateway account by clicking on the following link here. Once you have your Gateway student ID number and password, you are ready to log into My Gateway. Please go to gtc.edu slash mygateway and log in with your student ID and password. Next, locate the My Profile card and check if your personal information needs to be updated. If it does, the Update Personal Information button will be in yellow rather than the normal purple. Next, you will locate the Registration and Schedule card and click on Search for Courses. In the Search for Courses box, you can type in the course number you are looking for, or you can search by course title. Today we will be searching for two classes, Intro to Psychology and Computers for Professionals. If you do not know a course's number, you can search it by name. First, you need to check to see if there are any requisites for the course. As you can see, Intro to Psychology lists a few options for prerequisites. A prerequisite must be completed prior to being able to take this course. If you are unsure if you meet the qualifications for a prerequisite, please call 1-800-247-7122 to speak with an academic advisor. Next, you need to select the term at which you wish to take the course. Scroll down to the Terms section and look at what terms are available. Once you find the term you are looking for, click on the box and navigate back up to the course itself. At this point, click on View Available Sections for the course to see all available options. It's important to pay attention to the day, time, and location for each section listed. Once you find a section that suits your needs, click on Add Section to Schedule. At this point, the Section Details box will show up. This will list information including the day, time, and location of the course, the course description, as well as additional information, which is where you can find the price of the course. Click Add Section to add the course to your plan. Once you do this, you will see a pop-up at the top right of your screen that tells you the section has been successfully added. To register for another course, return to the Search for Courses box. In this instance, we're going to be looking up Computers for Professionals by typing in its course number. Once again, you will want to narrow down the course sections within what you're looking for. And once you find a section that fits your needs, review the information as you did before and get the section added. At this point, once you have all the sections you're looking for added to a semester, you will be able to register for them by clicking the graduation cap on the left and clicking on Register for Courses. At this point, confirm what you have on your semester and click on Register All. After registering, a red notification bar will appear across the top of the page. Click the Pay for Registration button in the bar. This will allow you to enroll in a payment plan or pay in full for the courses you have registered for. If you have any questions, please contact us at 1-800-247-7122.